Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your September bonus reading. I hope all is well with you, Gems. Let's take a look and see what's happening this week, this time. Okay. When you watch it, this is when it's supposed to resonate or supposed to um, be part of your energy. Okay. So take what resonates. All right. What's going on with my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus signs and rising? All right, Gemini, you have someone here coming towards you very, very quickly. Very quickly here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here, or that's just their, um, the intensity of it, okay? So there's something in terms of go for it, right? Going for it. I'm going for this at this time. Now, this is one of those energies where I feel like this was something that was supposed to happen, okay? This attraction, this, com this sense of communication, this interaction, like we were supposed to have this here. And I feel like someone here is, it's like, I get this anticipation of wanting more, right? Wanting to hear more, wanting to feel more. Although at times they may act like, um, you know, maybe they're not interested in really welcoming um, more communication or wanting more communication. But I will say, and this could be a Virgo to Gemini's, all right? But either way, there's this energy of communication, but also I'm really analyzing what you're saying to me. And I guess that's where the Virgo energy came in. We did just have this uh, new moon in Virgo here. Um, something about Saturday and Sunday around that time is going to be very strong in terms of a lot of communication. Um, just be careful for miscommunication as well. Okay, uh, there we go. Someone here wants to move forward with you. They want forward movement. They want things to progress, but they want to know that you're on the same page with them. All right. And again, this could be someone you're connecting with or someone, um, all right, again, in your energy, or this could be you, but are we moving forward? That's the question here. Are we moving forward? All right. How does this person feel about Gemini's? How does this person feel about my gem gems, please? Okay. Now this person wants to reconcile with you. They want to meet up with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to have more good times with you here. Okay. Some of you, again, this may be a past person wanting to show up in your life again. Um, this could be a crush here. This could be someone coming out and expressing how they feel. Now, one thing I want to say to you, Gemini's, and if you remember anything out of this reading, okay, pay attention to what you may say or how you come off. Okay. Um, details are going to be very important here because I feel like there may be some sort of hiccup or, um, there could be some sort of, okay, I didn't mean to say it like that, but that's how it just came off. Okay. Type of energy that's coming in here this week. So be very careful, take your time, process things. Don't let that mercury, you know, allow mercury to of course take over, you know, that's your ruling sign, but be sure to step into that calming Virgo energy where it's like, I'm I'm taking my time to express myself and letting you know that I am interested or letting you know that I do need some time. Okay. Trust me, Virgo, trust me. All right. But, um, I do feel like there is something here where someone here is acting on impulse and they'll come in out of nowhere here, wanting to be part of your life, wanting to communicate with you. How does Gemini show up here? How does Gemini show up in this energy here? You're ready to talk too. You're open, you're excited, you're ready to talk, you're ready to commute. This is all communication. All communication, all sexual energy, attraction, forward movement, um, being desired. Someone here desires to be part of your life, desires to reconcile, desires to reconnect here. Okay, anything else that Gemini will feel during this time frame? I like this. I like this. I really do. Okay. Uh, you'll feel like this person is holding back a little bit, or you'll feel like you need to hold back a little bit and that's perfectly fine. All right. So it's going to be very important to, um, allow things to flow. Okay. Listen to your instincts and your intuition. What will their intuition possibly say? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Someone here is nervous. Someone here is scared. Okay. Someone here gets very nervous at some point. Someone here gets nervous about the way that communication is flowing. Okay. So like I said, 
It's going to be so important to allow things to flow. Listen to your intuition. Don't allow fear to take over. Don't allow fear to um, take over the, the process of things here. Okay, with the devil energy, it is signifying that someone goes into, you know, this anxiety energy or this energy of deep worry. Like maybe this person's not interested. Maybe this person's lying. Maybe this person, you know, is, you know, just trying to manipulate me. Maybe I don't trust this person again. Maybe I should tell them this. Maybe I should confront them, okay? So you want to be able to step back a little bit when things shift or things are shifting and step back and allow things to, you know, move the way that they're supposed to move, all right? So just try to stay away from arguments. Try to stay away from overthinking. Someone here does go into a space of fear at some point, okay? They go into a space of fear because someone becomes cold, Someone shuts down a little bit. Someone stops communicating. Why? Why does this person... Let's see why this, this energy is even here. Why is this energy coming in to this degree? Why is this energy here? Here. Someone here is afraid of a new beginning or nervous about a new beginning here. Someone here starts to realize, oh, guess what? I'm falling in love. Right? Love starts to creep in. Deep love here. Oh my God. Deep love starts to, to come in here. All those feelings that I felt at some point, if this is a past person, it comes right back. All those feelings come rushing through, rushing, rushing through here. Someone also wants to keep this a secret from someone that they're currently dating. Maybe someone here is currently dating a Leo or a Capricorn or a Gemini, another Gemini, or even a I mean, we have a lot of signs here. We have Aquarius, Libra, okay? Whoever it is that you may, or Cancer. Someone here is dating someone and they may not want that other person to know that I'm in love with someone else, okay? I'm in love with someone else, all right? So someone here may contact you while you're connecting with someone at this present time and love comes in very, very quickly and they're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but to keep this a secret. So someone here could be communicating with someone and still keeping things a secret because they felt or feel something very strong for someone that they are in love with. Okay. If not, if this person's not connecting with someone else, there is an energy of someone here intuitively going into fear mode. Gosh, I'm nervous. We have a lot of communication. We have a lot of sexual energy. We have a lot of reconciliation energy. Things are great. We're talking. There's intimacy. There's goodness here. King of Cups, Empress Energy, Two of Cups here. All happening. Love happening. Okay? This person feels the same way you feel. They feel the same way you feel here. But again, there's just this energy of possibly not expressing it, but they could feel it, okay? They could feel it. Someone here again goes into the space of, well, if they could feel it, then why are they so quiet? Why are they in this King of Swords energy? Why are they, why are they not expressing themselves to me? Why are they not opening up to me like they normally do? And if they feel this powerful, what's going on here? Okay. And let's take a look at this. Gemini, also remember, if you are interested in a personal reading, to take a look at your person specifically. All right. Everything is below on my website and we could talk about this. But in the meantime, for the general reading here, let's see what's going on. There's love here. Whoever it is that you're connecting with, there's true love. King of Cups, the Empress. Um, you know, I met my person. I met my person, this person that made me feel so magnetic, so real, so, so at peace is here. They're show, they're showing up. Okay. And this doesn't have to be a past person for everybody. For some it is, for others it's not. Okay. Look at this. Someone here is showing you one side here. And then when they go out into the world, they show another side. Okay. Or some of you are debating, is this person being honest? Is this person being transparent? Is this someone that I could trust? Is this someone that's being really open with me? Can I have something real with this person? I have a feeling this person has a double life. And that's what some of you may actually find out when it comes to someone. Okay. That they're, again, when they're with you, they come off as a different person. And when they go home, they're like, oh my God, I'm falling in love. So again, it's, it's one of those things where you have to be very patient. We have to be very patient. All right. We both could feel it, 
but at times we just don't see it, but we feel it. And this is where that devil energy came in, where there's that fear, there's that concern, there's that question, there's that, oh my God, is this something I should continue with here? A lot of you may not trust this person because of that here. Okay, but I do feel like there is this genuine love here. There's this very strong, genuine love where someone here wants long term. All right. Or you're living in their heart long term. I could tell you that here, but someone's asking questions. There's a strategy here that someone has coming up with a plan. I'm coming up with a um, I'm coming up with a plan to to be closer to you, to see you again, to talk to you again, to meet up with you again. And look at this, only you, only you. I'm not seeing anyone else, if that's what you're wondering. For some of you, this person's not seeing anyone else, okay? For some of you, they're not, okay? They're not. They're not seeing anybody else. They're, they have no desire to see anyone else here. But what they feel for you is real, okay? Gemini's, I love you. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Check out the links below for any other services that you may need, want, require, all that good jazz. And of course, hit that like button and follow me and we'll talk soon. Bye.